Hey, what's up, folks? I'm Sunny, and today I finally, after some time, have my hands on the late 2016 13-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar Silver Edition. Real quick, before we get to the good stuff, I want to thank my brother for letting me test out his computer for a very short period of time before he sends it back and replaces it for the one without a touch bar. And I'll let you know why in just a minute. Now, to reiterate, this is not the Fane Space Gray Edition, but rather what you're seeing is the Silver Edition. For comparison's sake, I have an early 2015 13-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro rocking the black Ashwood Slick Wraps skin. I'm thinking of doing a comparison video between D-Brand skin and Slick Wraps. What do you say? So the touch bar. Even after months since the MacBook Pro with touch bar released back in November, it's still relatively useless. It's Apple's attempt to be innovative and not do touch screen like everyone else, so they created a solution to a problem that doesn't quite exist. As of right now, you can use it for the same functions as the buttons it replaced, albeit it's a bit more time consuming or you could say more effort to use, however it's actually still a responsive method. You can create new tabs and sentences just by tapping, you can scroll through emojis and scrub through timelines, pretty much what you can do with a mouse and a keyboard, but a little bit more restricted. If you're buying this laptop for the touch bar, you're pretty much waiting on developers to catch up on the technology and software behind it and implement something that Apple barely even knows what to do with it. If anything, I would have liked to see an adaptive keyboard, maybe give the spacebar a dual function of some stuff that the touch bar is doing right now, because that would actually be innovative. So unless you really want Touch ID, you're not getting much out of the touch bar as of now, just like the ports. This is something that I have mixed feelings about. I love how technology is evolving to where you get so much out of one port, but it's just so new and it's not fully used to its potential. But at least they kept the headphone jack. I am so sorry for all you iPhone 7 users, RIP the 3.5mm headphone jack, but if you have the woes, I did a bit of research, you can check out Incipio's OX charging case which debuted at CES 2017. I'll also leave a link to some third party alternatives to MagSafe, may you rest easy. Speaking of which, say goodbye to the extension cable because it's not included with the new MacBook Pro, so I really hope you kept your old one if you have it. But of course, because I said that. Apple's next MacBook is going to change the charger altogether to support Thunderbolt 3. I'm calling it right now. But overall, the new MacBook Pro is still a great computer for those who do creative work. It's really clean and simplistic, yet elegant in design. There's no ugly black matte plastic bar running along the underside. It's all aluminum on the exterior. The new logo is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but what I'm really loving about the new 2016 MacBook Pro is that it's significantly lighter in comparison to its predecessor which to me is very important because I'm one of those students that carries a MacBook Pro around for school because it's actually required course material. The screen is much brighter and slightly better in its color gamut. The speakers, which face upward, sound a lot better and louder than before, but it's still nothing comparable to a dedicated DAC amp. Now, everyone knows about how huge the new MacBook Pro is packing under the keyboard. It's almost too huge, but that's what everyone said about Samsung when they first made big screens on their phones. Personally, both my brother and I find palm rejection to work rather well. We have no complaints, so I'm not sure what some people are fussing about, but I also don't type with my entire palms flat on the surface. The quote-unquote updated butterfly keys are surprisingly really nice and tactile, but it's definitely going to take some time getting used to them, no doubt. Shout out to all the peeps who know macOS commands. Honestly, for an Apple product, the new MacBook Pro is a step in the right direction. It's faster, lighter, and more compact in every regard, but of course, you're not getting an Apple product for its raw processing power or to play the latest AAA titled games. You're getting it for the name, the physical design, and the user experience. My recommendation is to save yourself the money and skip the touch bar if it's not a priority for you. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked below in the description by the like button. If you like my content, consider subscribing. That's the word. Deuces.